Yo, welcome back guys. Today we'll be looking at Blue Lock chapter 257, Two Gun. The chapter starts off as the Ultra Sadist comes through with a killer cross, setting the stage for the protagonist to stamp his impact. It's time to show your top performance, Egoist. As we continue on from the previous chapter, with Hiyori crossing it into Isagi who is making his way into the box, Chapa is there to stop him, but there's no way this pass is getting cut out. This is Hiyori's top performance and Isagi has Metavision activated. He'll take it from here. It's now time for Isagi to deliver his top performance as he has 3 PXG players around him. He's trying to get through. Isagi combines a sidestep with a diagonal run to beat the players right in front of him. He's got through. He's now running onto the goal, but Shido shows up out of nowhere to take Isagi on and he is currently in the flow state, flow state versus metavision. Isagi tells Shido that he has to do better before cutting off onto his right and letting the ball fly towards Shido. Shido's confused at the fact that Isagi just ran away from the ball's drop location, but behind him comes Kunigami, who was eager to pay Isagi back for that stake. And that's what Isagi was waiting for. Kunigami headers it down past Shido and the two PXG defenders into Isagi's path who is dashing forward closer to the goal. Until now, Kunigami has refused to pass and tried to score by himself and that's why no one will predict that he'll pass to Isagi in that situation. But out of nowhere, Rin pulls up looking like Nagi in the first selection chasing down Isagi but sadly not as menacing, mainly because of the aura. But he calls Isagi lukewarm and tells him not to forget that he's also there. With Isagi shocked, we also get an excuse me from the one and only Kaiser. As the ball is now flying towards them, Isagi is now boxed in between Rin and Kaiser. It's part 3, Raider edition, as Kaiser 2 joins the party. These two are only focused on Isagi's movements. That explains how they were able to reach him so quickly after losing Shiro. Instead of reading the flow of the game, they solely focused on plays that would allow them to destroy Isagi. Is this their top performance? If so, that's messed up. There's no way Isagi could have anticipated this. Isagi has to keep thinking. He'll reach the ball first, but what will he do once he gets there? Will he shoot, as they want to destroy every direct shot course he has coming up? Will he trap it? If so, Kaiser will steal the ball and score. The puzzle pieces are coming together for Isagi. He has reached the flow state. Shoot, trap, right, left, right direct, left direct. No, he has to create a new attack as Isagi loads up to shoot with his left foot. Right here, right now, Isagi flicks the ball as if he was trying to do an around the world controlling the ball to evade Rin's tackle. Rin is shocked that it was a fake with his left and Kaiser tries to get it thinking Isagi is about to trap the ball, but Isagi has other plans in mind. Isagi hits a first time volley with his right foot before Kaiser could even react. This is Isagi's top performance as he kicks the ball past the goalkeeper into the back of the net with insane shot power. A mid-air quick draw, an ambidextrous direct shot. This is where the left and the right direct shot combines. The two gun volley, Isagi scores making the score 1-1. This match is starting to get interesting. Looking at the title of the chapter, being combine and invent a new weapon. What I can see from this title is that in the next chapter we actually won't get to see a new weapon from someone like Kaiser, who many of us have been waiting for. But we'll get an insider on Isagi's new weapon and how it came about, either a backstory or his thought process on what made him decide on that. And with it being a revolver, it would make sense that Isagi thought of Nagi and incorporated a bit of his technique for that shot. Because we know the first touch on Nagi's volley was insanely good and the first touch on this one was the same. 
the left direct and the right direct combining is really cool to see because it shows that everything he's been working towards is now coming together. But I also have to give props to Kunigami for making the pass. After all his griping when Isagi assisted him, saying he doesn't need it, he finally came around, still emo Kunigami, but it's an improvement. That assist from Kunigami also completed the tri-flow chemistry of the best x best x best. From Hiyori's cross to Kunigami who headed it down to Isagi to finish off the play with a goal. The best passage of play in the match so far. It's actually funny to think about it, but Rin is the one who actually got the VIP seat to see Isagi's goal after trying to do that to Isagi. This is not a good look for Blue Locks number 1 and also for the new gen striker who has become a passenger in this game if we're being honest. But I also can't take the Kaiser disrespect that's been shown throughout this entire match. I mean like come on now we get it, Isagi is that guy. But how is Kaiser being so useless against blue lock players? It's also crazy to me that people actually think that Isagi is now above Kaiser. I know Isagi has been balling out obviously but then there's levels to this. I know I might be a little biased when it comes to Kaiser obviously but I'm not sure if people know how this works. But I, I'm gonna leave that to the comments. I'm gonna leave that to the comments to discuss. But I don't agree with the notion that Isagi has passed Kaiser whatsoever. They're not too far apart though, that's for sure. And Isagi has to still get past Rin first. Maybe that will happen throughout the course of this match. I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.